Since the summer of 2015, the home screen on my mobile phone bears the image, start each day with a grateful heart. While it might seem cliche to some, centering myself in a mindset of gratitude helped me get through some difficult times and providing me with the ability to find hope in what at times seemed hopeless. Maya Angelou once said, if you must look back, do so forgivingly. If you must look forward, do so prayerfully. However, the wisest thing you can do is be present in the present gratefully. Daily, I stand in gratitude for each and every student who trusts us enough to come to Evergreen Valley College and engage in the vulnerable act of learning. I hope you'll take time to sit back and let the words of our students wash over you. In every crisis, there is an opportunity. Lately, I've seen the homeless being helped, low pollution levels, and a greater sense of humanity between communities. What can also keep our businesses thriving is our ability to adapt. I learned that from EBC professors Arthur College and Robert Brown. There was a lot of tough love, but I needed to be challenged to excel. I'm very thankful that I'm able to give back to the community by helping others find housing during these unprecedented times. Evergreen Valley College helped me learn how to advocate for myself and to know how and when to ask for support. My life's purpose is to help others grow and prosper. I get to bring my whole self to work each day and develop the strengths of others. That is my impact. During my senior year of high school, I was accepted at UC Irvine as a mechanical engineering major. I was so excited, but when the financial aid letter arrived, I couldn't afford to go. That's when I decided to attend EBC. I came in thinking that I would simply save money, but what I hadn't realized was how EBC would open doors to so many other opportunities. EBC allowed me the flexibility to work while taking classes at a pace that was right for me. I was also able to take fall 2019 semester off to intern at NASA Kennedy Space Center in Florida. That internship, a dream come true, led to an opportunity this summer with NASA Armstrong Flight Research Center and an offer to continue in the fall. It was with the help from EBC and so many amazing professors, shout out to Master Masuda, that I've come so far in both my study and dream to work in the space industry. I completed an AA in physics and will be attending UC Irvine in the fall. Starting my career as a registered nurse with this pandemic has been a fruitful experience. I have never been sure of my calling in nursing until now. It's great to go to work and have people be so grateful for your work. I spent a few years not knowing what my calling was, but Vivian from Aspire was really helpful, even when I felt like my questions about the future were silly. I felt so supported at EBC and learned that not being yourself is physically and emotionally exhausting. If you find your calling, just do it. If you want it, get it. I was finishing my bachelor's degree at UC Berkeley when I realized nutrition was my true calling. I graduated and went to Evergreen Valley College for its flexibility towards my new path. My life changed. Now I'm working as a dietetic assistant and I've been accepted into the San Jose State University Nutrition Master's Program. I've always known that I love writing and storytelling, but I didn't know exactly what I wanted to do. I went to EBC because it was cost efficient and so close to where I live and my high school. I knew that if I went to San Jose State University right out of high school, I would have wasted time and money. David Hendricks from the Honor Society had a huge impact on me. He took me under his wing and helped me stretch my leadership muscle. I graduated from EBC in 2018 debt free with an AA in communications and graduated from San Jose State University in 2020 with a bachelor's in public relations. I'm thrilled to kick off my career in PR and storytelling because telling your story and telling it authentically can inspire others and change lives. My goal has always been to help my community. While working at a private law firm, I saw how important licensed and certified interpreters were for our clients. So I joined the EBC Translation and Interpreting Program to be able to help give back even more. Carmen Solorzano was amazing. 
When I stumbled, she motivated me and told me not to let anyone tell me that I can't do it. I can do it. Now that I am certified, I can help support the 40% of our clients who only speak Spanish. I have found so much love for translating and interpreting that I want to start my own firm doing immigration consulting and legal document assisting. Whatever I can do to make a difference in the lives of others and help people to be their voice. Professors challenge their students because they know the students can meet these expectations. Sometimes we as students don't see it ourselves, but they do. I also received guidance from several staff members. Meeting with Tina Iningas, Tanika Cornish, and Harvey Gibson changed my life. They motivated me, planted the seeds of not giving up, and helped me follow through with the potential that was already inside of me. I hope to pay it forward when I become a teacher someday. After high school, I was not sure which career path to pursue, so I decided to save money and come to Evergreen Valley College. I took an interior design class and I knew this was my calling. After years in the industry, my life dream finally came true. I started my own interior design firm. EVC was the best choice I have ever made. As a nurse and an EVC nursing instructor who is passionate about my jobs, I am a firm believer in this Gandhi quote, the best way to find yourself is to lose yourself in service of others. I'm currently making my own quarantine plans, even if it means not being around my husband and kids for a while. I know that I'm away from home often, but I hope that my family knows and that the community knows that it's all for them. To set a good example is what I aspire to do always. I'm very grateful I get to work with the EVC professors who have been prime examples for me and that they have been so supportive of me balancing both my teaching and healthcare professions. You may not be the smartest student, but if you really have that desire to achieve your goals, you absolutely will. I used to feel out of place in an academic setting, but EVC's Enlace program taught me that you are where you were always meant to be. They promoted a sense of belonging. To continue this chain of empowerment, I would like to start a mentorship program in the future to encourage the Latinx community to pursue their dreams in the medical field. It is important that we have big dreams and that we do not ignore them. The best part about being an EVC student was the relationships I was able to build and the lifelong friends I met. I am thankful that I discovered a group of people who have the same passion for Tesla and its mission as I do. Attending EVC allowed me to explore and discover my interests. EVC and many of its sensational professors allow me to figure out what I wanted out of my education. I actually didn't apply to Yale during my senior year of high school, so I wouldn't have even had a shot at Yale had I not attended EVC. My time at EVC opened up the pathway for me to accept responsibility and take initiative to explore my individuality. I dabbled in different fields of study and those experiences taught me that they weren't meant for me. The great thing about those realizations is that in college, you can have a trial run at what your future may look like. I used to be annoyed every time my mom told me, you'll figure it out whenever I hoped she'd give me the answers I needed. There's actually something empowering about figuring it all out on your own. At EVC, I was really able to exercise that mindset. I retired from the San Jose Police Department in 2019 after 32 years of active service. As a student at Evergreen Valley College, my instructors understood what it meant to attend college while working full time. I believe this is where I am needed and I am honored to impact the lives of our students. I faced some judgment when I chose to attend community college right after high school. My parents and my teachers wanted me to go straight to four year colleges or Ivy Leagues. However, I personally felt that I wasn't ready and that EVC would give me the necessary help that I needed to succeed. I gained a more open mind after being exposed to EVC's community. My professors were so helpful and offered generous office hours. I was an introvert, so they instilled a lot of confidence in me, namely Professor John Carrion. Ultimately going to EVC was one of the best decisions I have ever made. I started at EVC when I was 16 years old after my family had moved from Chicago. I took English Lit with Professor Stephen Mentor, and it was, and still is, one of my all-time favorite classes. 
It felt so amazing to sit with diverse people and I realized how much I love languages. The counselors were great too. One counselor not only helped me graduate early, but I secured a scholarship to Oaxaca, Mexico, where I did community service and learned about mental health. After EBC, I transferred to UC Berkeley and majored in English, and today I am a licensed mental health therapist. EBC provided me everything I felt like I didn't get in high school. I learned that when you have a purpose, things open up for you. Go for your purpose and success will follow. Just after graduating from UC Berkeley with a bachelor's in rhetoric, my mom, who was an ICU nurse for 30 years, had a stroke. After spending a lot of time in the hospital and seeing the nurses in action, I was inspired. I knew being a nurse was my calling and I went to EBC for nursing school. Today, I'm working with Stanford Healthcare on the front lines of screening patients for COVID-19. I feel profoundly lucky that I am in a situation that I have the license and skills and expertise to bestow on people during this time of crisis. It wasn't until I attended EBC that I was able to take empowering classes that really centered around myself, my culture, and my community. That really dismantled the way I saw myself and brought out the power in me. It was the first time that I truly saw myself as smart and capable. Sometimes you will have aspirations you are passionate about and your mind might trick you into thinking that it will never work out. I really appreciated Professor Walter Adkins for sharing his journey from foster child to success. He showed me that if you have a resourceful and formidable mindset, you can overcome any obstacle put in front of you. That certainly applies to the crisis we are currently in, especially as a small business owner. I am glad I kept pursuing my dreams to own businesses that encourage wellness and good health. It is nice to be doing what I love and then be able to share it with the world. I enrolled at Evergreen Valley College after returning from the Air Force, and despite couch surfing and sleeping in my car, I persevered. I found my calling in the EBC nursing program. Now my blessing is working at Lucille Packard Children's Hospital. I hope to continue to make an impact by giving the children in the hospital joy and peace of mind. I think students really benefit from knowing themselves and what they want, but not everyone gets it right away. Harvey Gibson was incredibly impactful by breaking down my goals and showing me that they are within reach. It took a lot of pressure off of me. By the time I transferred to UC Berkeley, I discovered that what I did to excel at EBC could be applied at Berkeley and to all of my future endeavors. The greatest takeaway was that no matter where you are, maximize your resources and strengthen your self-branding because you are your best advocate for success. My professors at EBC were memorable and relatable. I wasn't the studious type, but somehow they compelled me to learn. The journey wasn't easy, but the tough love is the reason why I'm where I am today. Now I'm a dentist with three practices in the Silicon Valley. Thank you, EBC. None of my family members attended college, so I had the mindset that I wasn't meant for it. However, I took a chance and I ended up in an Alasa English class with Professor Richard Regwa. I remember walking into the classroom and seeing so many brown faces, people that look like me. I had an epiphany. This is the place for me. Learning more about my culture was so empowering and I also learned about the importance of storytelling. Storytelling is how we engage with each other and carry on our cultures. There's a healing component to it. I used to fear public speaking, but now I'm so passionate about the knowledge that I'm passing forward as EBC faculty. EBC is my home and I've returned home. My sense of identity has really come a long way since I attended EBC. When I first met my career coach from the C's program, Tomoka Ha, I basically dropped my cover letters and resume on her desk. Instead, she was more concerned about getting to know who I am. We had close conversations that dug deep into what I wanted in life. Instead of telling me what I needed to do, her guidance gave space for me to discover myself and make the right choices for myself in not just career, but in life. I went to EBC for the nursing program, but I was diagnosed with endometriosis and was told by doctors there was no cure. I wouldn't accept that as an answer and became passionate about nutrition and juicing. Not only did I take control of my own health, but I realized that this was what I wanted to do the rest of my life. 
Now I own my own business in the health industry and I get to help others heal every day by providing vitamins and minerals and positive affirmation in people's daily lives. As challenging as it is to own a small business during this crazy time, my classes at EBC help prepare me to think outside the box and build my business through relationships and perseverance. My life is a blessing. As the first in my family to graduate from high school, I struggled until I transferred to Evergreen Valley College. They welcomed me, helped me with an academic plan, and believed in me. I was a full-time student on the soccer team while working graveyard shifts at night. I graduated from CSU Stanislaus, and I'm getting my PhD to be a chiropractor. Initially undocumented, I faced many barriers in education and life. However, my EVC professors and the Alase program helped unlock my resourcefulness, which I believe is in everyone. It can be hard to keep up with other responsibilities in life, but just to connect with at least one professor makes the world of difference. It makes success more accessible. If it wasn't for EVC, I wouldn't have been able to move out to New York and help other immigrant communities. When I was at EVC, I worked as a tutor and it was challenging because it pushed me out of my comfort zone. Fortunately, the community building at EVC was inclusive and supportive. Time and time again, my autism has challenged me to learn more about myself and I left EVC feeling empowered. Success is not determined by what you're born with because there will always be opportunities and people willing to help at EVC. When I was a student, I couldn't see any nurses that looked like me on Google Images. Professors Gary Johnson and Tina Abraham from the nursing department talked to us like equals and that made all the difference. When someone treats you with dignity, it really helps you excel. All that support goes a long way. I'm really proud to be where I am now, to represent. It's so endearing when professors have so much passion in their voice, like Melody Barda in accounting class when I studied business at EBC. I ended up becoming a filmmaker, but I still remember many core things about accounting because she taught it so well. I'm grateful that I get to chase my passion and still maintain that business mindset in the entertainment industry. As a matter of fact, whatever industry you're in, you have to build and protect your brand. You never know who's watching on LinkedIn. I moved from Toronto in 1996 and Evergreen Valley College played a huge role in helping me out of an abusive relationship. Education was the key to any of my struggles as a single parent. I am excited to return to the caring community of EVC as a faculty member who can see the potential in students and be impactful as part of the solution as well. I was working at Pete's Coffee when one of my regular customers, an EVC alum, came in. I am a lifelong Spanish speaker and she and I always talk to each other in Spanish. She saw my potential and encouraged me to apply for the program she graduated from, the EVC Translation and Interpreting Program. I had no idea it was one of the fastest growing careers in the country. Now, having just graduated, I am so excited to enter into a real career where I can be the voice for parents who need it and be a cultural bridge between families and the schools. I am well prepared and so excited to embark on my career. I didn't have much direction after being first in my family to graduate high school. So I joined the army as a medic and eventually became sergeant. When I returned, I went through Evergreen Valley College's nursing program, and it prepared the hell out of me as a clinical nurse. It made me a better person, and I get to give back every day. I didn't grow up in a traditional environment. I was in the foster care system. With EVC being my first stop in college, I had little to no resources. However, Tina Iningas was among the wonderful staff that provided a lot of resources and encouragement for me. I worked very hard and practiced grit, humility, and resiliency along the way. Just because you are a product of a certain environment, you don't have to fall into the stereotypes and become a statistic. Now I lead our philanthropic and employee engagement in Northern California at Comerica Bank. It has been rewarding to serve those who are where I used to be. As a child in Afghanistan, my opportunity to go to school was taken from me. I came to the United States when I was 19 and continued my educational journey at Evergreen Valley College. Now I'm finishing my degree and will transfer to San Jose State University. Education for me is a light in the dark. I have been given the gift of education. I came to EVC in 2012 after four years in the Marine Corps. 
One day, I was walking on campus wearing a Stanford sweater, and a professor I didn't know stopped me and asked if I was going to apply to Stanford. I told him I didn't think I could ever get in. He encouraged me to try and not doubt myself. We went our separate ways, but that really stuck with me and motivated me. Later, I applied and was accepted to a summer program for veterans at Stanford and experienced the neuroscience labs learning about the neurocircuitry of PTSD. I was even selected to give a speech for Stanford's summer commencement ceremony. After EBC, I transferred to UC Riverside and graduated with my bachelor's in neuroscience. I'm going for my PhD next. I feel that many of our vulnerable community members get neglected and overlooked. So three friends of mine and I started a nonprofit where we focus on helping local food banks and shelters provide medical supplies to unhoused and low-income populations. I am really blessed to be at Evergreen Valley College. It is allowing me to continue to make an impact. I've had an entrepreneurial mindset ever since I was a kid, but my heart was in art as well. At EBC, I was able to explore career options that allowed me to be artistic and business-minded. Rachel Lazo was my art instructor, and I always felt like I could go to her for advice, even if it wasn't for a class that she was teaching. It was those years where I learned that you shouldn't have to put your passions on the back burner. As a former foster youth, Evergreen Valley College, YES and EOPS programs helped me get on my path. Now my job is to support low-income and homeless individuals and families. My goal is to be a social worker for foster youth, especially teens. I used to hate group work until I attended EBC as a dual enrollment student in the Excel Middle College program. Professor Brad Carruthers really created an environment in a classroom that encouraged community building, and I've carried that with me into my career. In personal training, having discipline is important, but I've come to understand that mental health plays a huge part as well. I like to help my clients on a personal level, not just physical. It is my hope that we all continue to take care of ourselves and be there for each other. When I was working for the Franklin McKinley School District, I saw firsthand the need they had for interpreters. I was doing some interpreting on the side, but I knew I needed to get certified so I could do this full time. EVC's translation and interpreting program, and especially Claudia Shaleski, prepared me so well for real-world experiences. Now I am working as one of only two full-time interpreters for Santa Clara Unified School District. I am a bridge between administration and parents who often have so much to say, but just don't know how to say it. It makes me feel really good because I am giving these parents a voice and helping them understand their rights. I am making a difference. This is my dream job, especially once I realized this was the dream. EVC professor Peter Miskin has been the grounding force of our nursing program's transition to remote learning. He and Dr. Gary Johnson have been so incredibly supportive. I am beyond proud of all nursing faculty for how they have handled the situation and grateful for how this program has empowered inner strength and resilience. I look forward to going straight to work after graduating. I'm not afraid of coronavirus. This is what we signed up for. Put me on the front lines. The transition to San Jose State University was very hard for me, and I was disqualified after two years. I came to Evergreen Valley College and loved it because they got to know the real me and brought out my power and potential. Now I am a student coach with the Next Flex Flex Factor program. When I graduate, I'll transfer back to San Jose State for software engineering and cybersecurity. I found myself at EBC. I started as a business major, and Professor Juarez used to spend five minutes with us to talk about life and career instead of trigonometry. Those moments made me realize that I'd rather be outdoors than anywhere else, so I changed my major at EBC, which then changed my life. I have spent the past six years dedicated to entomology and researching in the fields. Evergreen Valley College was so impactful for me as a student with disabilities. I received lots of support and was shown so much empathy and compassion. EBC empowered me to voice my opinions and advocate for myself. I am graduating from San Jose State University, and my dream is to become a librarian with the San Jose Libraries. I think these times teach us to not take moments for granted. We check up on our neighbors and friends more. We help strangers and think more about others. 
If anything, I've also learned to appreciate the education system. We were so well trained at EBC. I can't say enough about how well EBC prepared me for my job. Every day I come home, I know I've helped someone in some way. The more days I work, the more days I feel fulfilled. And daily I stand in gratitude for each of you who recognizes the gift that our students bring and does not squander it. From service support that facilitates learning to counseling and direct classroom instruction, your service and commitment to our students is the foundation of this community. In all that we do, we have the awesome opportunity to nurture a bold, resilient, and authentic community where we all can collectively thrive. I stand in the present grateful, wishing you and your loved ones happy holidays. <laughs>